guys, it's Gary Wong with GaryWongRealty.com again. People know me as the Christian Realtor. I'm also the author of the book on Vancouver real estate. And today I just want to uh, share a video in my car. It's been a while since I last uh, filmed in my car. And <clears throat> today, you know, I want to talk about something that uh, I've been doing this, these days. For the past uh, <clears throat> a year, I've been um, mentoring other uh, real estate agents and uh, I'm, I'm certified as a McDonald Realty certified mentor and I mentor new real estate agents who uh, want to pass the uh, post licensing requirements and then the the, the common <clears throat> the common question and barrier that they go through is that when they meet their clients their clients ask them how many years of in the business have you been in but you know, the, the, the problem is that I think that's the worst question to ask real estate agents. Why? Because it's really not about how many years in the business they've been in. I've seen veteran realtors with 30 years experience make huge mistakes. They're just dropping the ball. They're not doing their due diligence when working with their clients. Uh, you know, they're not looking up whether uh, a house is... Um, like an owner built house or whether it's built by a particular builder um, you know they're just dropping the ball but I've also seen newer agents I've also seen newer agents um, that are also dropping the ball but at the end of the day it's um, it's not about how many years in the business you've been in but how diligent and how hard-working the agent is I've, I've met a ton of agents in the industry and there's just a lot of uh, a lot of bad agents honestly there's just a lot of bad agents out there and and the agents uh, aren't doing uh, what they should be doing for their clients they're not working their best interest they're not uh, they're not fully disclosing everything they're trying to pressure their clients to buy or sell um, you know, I, I really think they're, they're, they have a short-term thinking. They're not really thinking in the, in, in the long-term, building a long-term relationship with their clients. So, you know, when you interview a realtor, just don't, don't focus on how many years in the business they've been in. Focus on what they're going to do. How hard are they going to work? If they don't know the answer, are they going to go and find out? Are they going to um, be on top of things? Are they going to be, you know, are you low on their priority list or are you very high on their priority list? Are they going to get back to you? I think the key is to really look at the realtor and see whether this realtor is has the, has the grit, has the character to really uh, do what's best for you. Don't look at the years of experience. Uh, don't look at the number of awards they've they've made. Even those awards speak something, but it's not everything, you know. So like I've won a bunch of awards, but it's I've also seen a lot of award-winning real estate agents that they don't know what they're doing. So really, it's about whether they they're a good fit, whether they really uh, do what they say and say what they do. So. I'll share more in another video. So that's it for today. Gary Wong with GaryWongRealty.com. And until next time, God bless you. Thanks guys for watching my video. Please subscribe and share with your friends. Email me if you have any more questions. Thank you.